All right, so it has officially been two weeks and now it's time to bottle my kombucha. So this is what it looks like two weeks from now. Um, you see that the scoby is better and there's a lot of bubbles that are forming. So I'm thinking that there's more carbonated than last time. I have my, oh, let me zoom out of here. So I have my two bottles ready. Both of these are 48 ounces. Yep, look at this. Both of these are 48 ounces. This is $8.99. I bought this from Publix. And I'm just going to bottle all this kombucha within this. And then I'm going to taste it too. Um, what else am I going to do? Oh, yeah, let me take it off now. Let me put this in the back. Take the cloth off. Maybe I should give you a look at what it looks like. So this is the scoby that has formed. If you look over here, this section right here, this is the original scoby that I bought. Um, and it, it didn't grow at all. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the scoby. And uh, now I'm just going to uh, take out the scoby, take out the contents of the kombucha, you know, stir it up and possibly try to do a second fermentation and I'll probably speak about that later. All right, hello everybody. So now I'm going to try to take out the two scobies, the one that has been formed for two weeks and the starter scoby out of the jar and put it in this container here. Um, I think you're supposed to wash your hands with dish soap, um, which I did. I've, I've heard that from somewhere. I don't know why you can't just use regular soap. Maybe there's some reasoning right and rhyme to it, but whatever. But let's first just try to take out the scoby. Wow. It's very Wow, it's very hard. I thought it was gonna be like squishy like like jelly or something, but it's sort of firm. Alright, let's take this thing out. Got my hands all in it. Wow, this is so cool. All right, let me get the starter scoby. This thing did not, if it did get big, let me see. If it did get big, I can't see how it got big. Also, you're supposed to leave like two cups of the remaining um, remaining kombucha within the scoby. So you just can't leave it alone without any form of kombucha. It has to be rehydrated. Um, in order to keep it going. So I'm going to put two cups in here. I think these are two cups. And leave that and the rest I can pour into this container and this uh, tea pitcher and then I'm going to pour the tea pitcher into this with this funnel. So I'm going to just press pause while I try to pour it into this tea pitcher. All right. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that you're supposed to stir it. You're supposed to stir the kombucha because um, there might be some fermentation, not fermentation, yeast at the bottom and it might be maldistributed. So if you try to boil it in one bottle and another bottle, one bottle might be more carbonated. The other one might not be because of the maldistribution of the yeast within the kombucha. So. I've, I've read to stir it well, so what I'm going to do is just stir it up a little bit so it can be evenly distributed and I will come back when I put all the kombucha within the tea pitcher. Alright, so I'm going to pour in the first batch of kombucha into this bottle, um, but I want to do like a second fermentation. And what the second fermentation, what I've read or what at least what I've watched is that you pour in some type of uh, fruit juice into the bottle and then you pour in the kombucha and the bacteria within the kombucha feeds off the sugar which makes it more carbonated and ultimately it's going to add flavor to the juice add flavor to the kombucha and also make it more carbonated and fizzy um now this is not mine this is actually my mother's uh, and it's like pomegranate juice now it said i've read that you're not supposed to get like juice that's made from concentrate and this says in this bottle that this is uh 100% pomegranate juice. But if you look in the back of it, it says uh, in the ingredients is like ingredients, pomegranate juice from concentrate or water, pomegranate juice, concentrate. So I don't know if it's 100% real uh, pomegranate juice. However, I'm going to pour 
one third a cup of pomegranate juice into this one bottle and I'm not going to do it for both bottles I'm just going to have one bottle that has juice in it and the other one that just has raw kombucha so let me pour this into the funnel let me hold it down all right so there's one third cup of pomegranate juice and now I'm going to try to pour the tea pitcher that has the kombucha into this bottle. This is going to take some time, but it's okay. Can't w can't wait to test to taste this and see how it tastes. I already know it's carbonated because, or more carbonated than the last time because now I see like bubbles forming and I hear the fizziness when I pour it in something. So this is gonna be very, very interesting. All right. I think this would be good enough. Give it some extra space, give it some extra room. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me do this here. All right, and I'm gonna leave the second one just straight just straight kombucha i'm not gonna put anything any juice or anything like that so yeah i think now i just have to taste it i'm gonna you know pour the rest of the contents in this one and then i will give tell you how it tastes so so i just bottled two um kombuchas uh, these is 48 ounces so i have like two 48 ounces and I still have like remaining amount of kombucha that I can feed, like I can give to my SCOBY because you can't just leave the SCOBY out. You have to like, you know, leave the kombucha within the SCOBY so it can be hydrated and still feed off, you know, the bacteria or whatever, the sugar or whatever. So, um, oh, I wanted to say this. I wanted to say that for people who are doing it for the first time, if you do see some formation at the top, do not automatically think it's mold. I've been told that most of the time it's not mold. If you do see like white fuzziness or green fuzziness, green fuzzy splotches or blue fuzzy splotches, then it's mold. But if you just see some weird bubbly stuff that's happening at the top of your SCOBY, I mean at the top of your SCOBY, at the top of your kombucha or your tea, is usually the beginning of the SCOBY forming. So please do not throw your kombucha out and say, oh, that was mold. Don't do that. However, I mean, but at the same time, it's your, your stuff. Anyways, most important thing I need to do right now is to taste this thing. Last week I tasted it, it sort of tasted like sweet apple, apple sweet tea with a hint of vinegar. Let's see what it tastes like with uh, another week added into it. What the fuck was this? I don't know if this is yeast or... A form formation of a new scoping with slimy, like some slimy goo. Maybe, maybe the scoping. Damn, <laughs> what the fuck? Looks like sperm. Gross. Um, but to taste it, I'm tasting again, and it does taste more vinegary and is more carbonated. And it actually tastes more, more and more like apple cider. I mean, like apple juice. Less like sweet tea, more apple-y, more tangy, more vinegary, and more. Mm, still slightly, still slightly carbonated. It's not that carbonated. But yeah, it's, it's less sweet tea. Now it has more of a tangy apple aftertaste. And it does, I do taste like the vinegary of it, but it's cool, man. I know, I know one of the comments, they were like asking me if my kombucha compared to like store-bought kombucha. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think my store, my, my first batch of kombucha compares to like the, 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 the process or the kombuchas that you can find on store shelves. But at the same time, when you make your own kombucha, you like, you feel proud. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like a proud father. Like, I, I just birthed a son or daughter named Kombucha. Bingo! So, yeah, um, 
right now we're doing the second formation at fermentation process so after like you know after two weeks or whatever week some people just ferment for a week then they bottle it and then they add like some type of sugary fruit juice or they add that might add fruit into their bottle so then the yeast can you know i'm not the yeast the bacteria can grab the sugar and then it'll become more carbonated that's why i did for one of the bottles i've added pomegranate juice and we'll see after a couple of days if it gets more carbonated um hopefully it does um but other than that yeah man i appreciate you for watching it salute